Let's talk about rainbows. This is a demonstration of the dispersion of light by a prism. The index of refraction of light depends upon its wavelength. And because of that dependence, the angle of refraction of light through a prism depends upon its wavelength. What I have here is a, a projector, and I've got a slide in the projector that produces this uh, just a vertical slit of light is all it is. And I also have a prism here that I will move now in front of that vertical slit of light. To produce this rainbow of colors. The, the light from the projector is hitting the prism, refracting into the prism, and that angle will depend upon the wavelength of light. Then it has to refract again, bend again, when it exits the other side of the prism. And the net effect is that the shorter wavelengths of light, namely the violet and blue wavelengths, are refracted or bent the most. And the longer wavelengths, those of red, are refracted the least, thereby spreading this, what used to be a white, uh, white light into its component colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then violet. And that's the electromagnetic spectrum of visible light produced by the dispersion of a prism. Okay, let's uh, define dispersion. We basically defined it on the video, but here's the concept that deals with it. Explain dispersion. The index of refraction of a material that's what we call N, depends slightly on the wavelength of light that is passing through the material. So in the case of a prism, you've got some light. Uh, depending on the uh, wavelength, this, the index of refraction of the material depends on the wavelength of light that's passing through it. And so, if the light is red, that index of refraction will give a different uh, angle of refraction than it will for violet. And you get this um, spreading of the colors as the, the light is refracted through the prism. With violet, as was shown in the video, uh, refracting the most, bending the most. And red, the, with the longest wavelength, bending the least. So, the index of refraction depends slightly on the wavelength of light passing through the material. This causes light rays of different colors to bend by different amounts when they pass through the material, spreading white light into a rainbow of colors. So this is an example for crown glass. Um, this is the wavelength of the light passing through that glass, and the index of refraction of the material for that wavelength. So for red light of 660 nanometers, the index of refraction of crown glass is 1.520. Whereas for violet, the index of refraction is higher. Meaning, a higher index of refraction means that those light rays are going to get bent more, which is exactly what we see um, in the video and, and in this example. So is it possible for a prism to bend light upward, downward, or not at all? And how can the situations depicted in the figure arise? What about this situation here? Is it possible for that prism not to bend that uh, ray at all? And the short answer is if, if the index of refraction of the material is, say, 1.5 for glass, if you embed that prism 
in another material such as uh, some liquid and if that material has an index of refraction of one also exactly the same 1.5 it won't bend at all because the uh, index of refraction at the interface is the same on either side of the interface so how can you get uh, the different situations you can get it bending one way if the index of refraction of the material is greater than the index of refraction of the material surrounding the prism or get it bending the other way if the index of refraction of the prism is less than the index of refraction of the surrounding material. So here's another demonstration of how uh, rainbows form. This is a demonstration of the rainbow produced by water droplets in the sky during a rainstorm. The sun here is, is represented by this halogen bulb. It's a very powerful bulb. The water droplets in the sky are represented by this um, sphere full of water. And what happens is that the, the sun's light rays coming from this bulb hit the drops of water refract into the, the drop, so the, the ray of light comes into the drop of water, hits the backside, reflects twice, and then comes back out at a particular angle. So we're talking about two internal reflections and then a refraction coming out of the drop in roughly the same direction as the source of light. But that direction isn't, isn't the same as the source of light. It's back toward the source of light and it is what produces the rainbow pattern. So, um, so this is how it works. Okay, so I think uh, you should be able to see the rainbow pattern on the blackboard, or on the whiteboard that's produced by this effectively single drop of water in the simulating a single drop of water in the atmosphere. Now when you get a lot more droplets in the atmosphere, all of them reflect the light back at the same angle and it produces a beautiful rainbow. So that's the spectrum of produced by, by a rainbow. What's needed in understanding it are reflection, refraction, and the dispersion of light. Just like light disperses into its component colors using a prism, this um, drop of water acts like a prism, has different index of refraction. Well, the index of refraction depends on the wavelength of the light, and so the light coming back out of it um, is spread into its rainbow of colors. Okay, one correction on the video. Um, the sunlight comes into a raindrop and I said that it reflects twice internally in the raindrop. It's actually only once. So this sunlight comes in, hits the raindrop. There's, as it passes from air here to water here, there's a refraction with the violet uh, bending more, refracting more. And then there's just a single reflection here rather than two. And then the, these different uh, colors of light rays exit, there's another refraction at the water-air interface, and we get the light essentially coming back roughly in the same direction, in the direction opposite the original sunlight. That's why when you're um, looking at a rainbow, the sun is always behind you. And so if you've got the sun behind you, you look ahead of you, and you'll see this rainbow of color um, on the side of you that's opposite the sun. This is exactly what's happening here 
we, uh, if we were standing looking um, in, in this direction, well, in fact, here it is. So here's the sun. We're facing away from the sun, looking up into the sky in the direction away from the sun. Uh, and we see this rainbow of colors with violet closest to the horizon and red, so violet down here and red farthest from the, the horizon. That's how rainbows work. <laughs>